Let me welcome on board Rakesh Arora as well who joins us on the show from uh, Go India Advisors as well. Rakesh, I good to be speaking with you. I know you're a long-term investor at that, but do you think this entire, um, you know, clamp down per se, which is happening of speculative trading can hamper the kind of market mood or the market momentum that we are seeing? Or do you think it's, it's going to be back to fundamentals come next week? So I don't think it will have a major impact. I mean, obviously, a lot of retail investors are dabbling into options market. Uh, it's a quick, uh, you know, make money or lose money kind of situation. Uh, but it doesn't really impact the investment uh, which is currently going on. I think uh, the shift uh, to equities is uh, kind of a, looks like a permanent uh, kind of thing. So I won't really worry too much uh, from medium term perspective. There could be a small blip, but it uh, won't change the direction the direction might be just a very very immediate blip that we might be seeing but Rakesh would you attribute the kind of uptick that we had seen in the market over the last couple of months to just flows or do you think there is a solid fundamentals backing us and I ask that question because Q3 earnings weren't that great uh, sorry Q1 earnings weren't that great to begin with uh, it seems like that the SIP flow and the mutual fund money is what is driving the market Definitely, you know, flows uh, drive the market, uh, but uh, this time around, fortunately, uh, the market is backed by a lot of, uh, you know, fundamental things improving. So if you look at the macro front, uh, you know, fiscal deficit, current account deficit, uh, they seem to be largely in control. Inflation is uh, moderating. Uh, we are looking for, you know, some interest rate cut, uh, not a deep cycle, but a small uh, interest rate cut cycle. And uh, earnings are also coming through, uh, meaning Q1 was a little bit of aberration because of elections and all that. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, this time around, the earnings downgrades are not happening. Uh, street is not really ahead uh, this time around. And uh, so because of the backing of earnings, uh, formalization of economy, strong macros, and uh, globally also, you know, things are uh, turning favorable for India. Uh, given that uh, among the emerging market, we are now just overtaken China uh, in terms of weightage in MSCI index. So all these things are pointing to, you know, uh, a solid uh, backing to this uh, rally. And I don't think it's going to fizzle out uh, anytime soon. Uh, the PSU Bank is one index that has been declining and has seen some pressure for last couple of days. Why do you think this is the street preferring private banks over PSU banks? So, see, uh, PSU banks had a dream run because, you know, banking cycle uh, was very favorable. And uh, during uh, favorable cycles, normally, you know, the weaker uh, uh, companies do much better because they are coming up from a much lower base. Uh, but now the cycle is maturing and uh, things are coming back to basics. Uh, so you have a little bit of credit costs uh, coming up. Uh, you expect NIMS to come under pressure because of interest rate uh, cuts. Uh, deposit growth is, uh, you know, slack as compared to credit growth. So better uh, managed banks would start to do better. And that's why the shift from PSUs to private sector is starting to happen. And uh, this trend uh, should uh, pursue for the next few months. Shift from public to private might continue for a few more uh weeks and months that's the word coming in but what else is looking incrementally positive Rakesh if I had to ask you where you're deploying fresh money to work which are the segments sectors areas stocks which you're betting on so largely uh, we are focused on domestic uh, you know focus sectors and industry and uh, here too I would say that it's uh, becoming more of a bottoms uh, up market now uh, the broad rally is kind of played out and now you know individual stock stories are important uh, so companies which are growing really fast to have some more uh, competitive advantage. Uh, so those are the things uh, we are looking at. It's a little bit become more uh, sector agnostic, I would say, and much more, you know, bottoms up. IT and pharma, what's the view? So pharma sector, uh, you know, after a little of, uh, I would say, uh, five, seven years has started to make a comeback. And, um, you know, over the last few years, they went through huge issues of US FDA and all that, uh, that seems to be, you know, behind us. Uh, there's a shift happening uh, uh, because of China plus one to Indian uh, pharma companies. Even, you know, uh, uh, CDMO is one of the spaces where things are looking very really bright. Uh, and so I think pharma sector, uh, you know, the rally has uh, just started and uh, there's a long way to go because there's, uh, you know, years of underperformance that needs to be taken care of.
Well, thank you, Rakesh, for joining us and giving us uh, those details and putting things into perspective. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.